Executive assistants spend a lot of time with their calendars, so making sure we're using tools that serve us well is really important. Today, I'm going to hand over the YouTube reins to my friend Hafer Mansour, who is the creator of both EA Buddy and ShareCal. ShareCal is a fantastic calendaring tool, and Hafer's going to show you exactly what it can do. Before I hand over to Hafer, make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss anything, and be sure to subscribe to EA How To emails over at eahowto.com. We're always hosting free webinars for talented EAs, and we would love to see you there. But now, here's everything you need to know about ShareCal. I'm Hefa and I'm the founder of ShareCal. So right now we're looking at the main view of the ShareCal platform. Um, and so if I'm an EA supporting my executive, I can see um, their calendar on the right. And on the left are all the different scheduling actions that I can take as an EA. Um, so you can see there's a lot here. Uh, today I'm just gonna walk you through a couple of the top uh, most commonly used features by EAs. So I'm just going to start with this first feature on the left here called proposed times. And as an EA, you would use this anytime you are um, offering time windows for a meeting on behalf of your executive. And that can be in your own time zone or across time zones. So um, what you would do when you're creating an email to offer times um, is just click on this proposed times feature and then click and drag on whatever times you wanna offer. And you can see as I do that, um, it's typing out all of the times on the left so that I can easily copy them, paste them directly into an email. And I can also add the time zone of the recipient. So let's say I'm scheduling a meeting, scheduling a meeting with somebody in the UK. Rather than offering these times in Pacific time, I would wanna just go ahead and add UK time here and so I can either choose to show the times in both Pacific and UK time, or I can remove the Pacific time and just show it in UK time. So it makes it really easy to kind of convert that text uh, between time zones, so you can always share it in your recipient's time zone. And then with that, you can also save all of your placeholders or calendar holds to the calendar at once. So I would just open this add hold section, type in the name of the hold. Let's say this is hold for meeting with King Charles in the UK, and then save those holds to the calendar as one batch. That way I don't have to go into the calendar and kind of create each of them one by one. Now when I wanna go ahead and schedule the meeting or, and remove those holds, rather than having to delete them all and then add the new meeting, I can just click on the times we've selected, double click, and then convert that to a meeting. enter in all the details and click create. And so what it does is it converts that one hold to a meeting, like you can see right here, and then deletes all those other holds automatically. Um, so this makes it just way faster for you to be able to manage your holds. You can also save even more time um, by using booking links instead of just that plain text format. So what you can do here is similarly, similarly click and drag on the times you wanna offer but then basically just set up the meeting in advance and create this link. Um, and then the recipient will be able to click on any of the times that you're offering and book directly. Another really popular feature among EAs is auto find times. And um, EAs will use it to use AI to help find time across busy executive calendars. So let's say, for example, I wanted to schedule a meeting between my executive, Craig, um, and another executive, Michelle, next week. Um, and I want that meeting to be 30 minutes. I want it to happen next week. All I would have to do is click on this Suggest Meeting Times button, and then it'll automatically kind of recommend times for me for the meeting, given those constraints. So you can see it shows several different options for the meeting. And so I can just um, select the one that I want and directly convert it to an event. Or I can take those times, um, copy it into an email so that I can kind of confirm with Michelle's EA before I go ahead and schedule the meeting. These are just a couple of the features that you'll see in ShareCal. Um, if you'd like to learn, learn more, feel free to reach out to me directly.